And maybe they're focused on who hurt whom and who broke up their marriage or who did and who's at fault and who's not. So there's some really useful techniques there. So how does somebody vet a potential mediator for, you know, what should they be asking a mediator if they are uh, in a high conflict relationship and they're considering mediation services? I think they should ask the mediator if the mediator is comfortable with <laughs> with a case with a high conflict person in it. And if the mediators had experience dealing with high conflict cases, because I think those are two important things um, because they can really catch mediators by surprise. They can also manipulate mediators who don't really aren't familiar with some of the manipulation. And I just know of many cases where a mediator just really fell into the story that I call it the bully story that the bully told and the mediators like adopts that as fact and may, you know, have negative glances towards the other person or pressure the other person to be flexible when they really should be setting limits. And so that those are things that they need to know and understand. That makes a lot of sense. 